Hello there, and uh, welcome to this little uh, tip that I made, or uh, I guess it's a release explaining um, how to use something uh, I just made. Um, I'll dive right in, I guess. Oh, um, all right. So this is a um, program for Unity. Well, a uh, well collection of scripts and like just a setup for Unity that lets you. Um, just view any um, sort of like model that you've made specifically for game engines. It's not necessarily ideal for higher resolution models, though you could do it if you wanted to. Um, it would just make the file size really big. Um, but without um, any further ado, let's just jump into it. So, um, in order to use it, um, you just have to set up really all you have to do is just import your mesh supplement your materials and then just drag it into the view make sure that it's lined up on um, 0 0 0 or whatever your liking is for the um, pivot point because uh, the pivot point is default at 0 0 0 um, but um, once you do that and you just have it set up you can uh, go right in so um, So, what we have here is um, just basically something that you can use to view your model by um, just follow the instructions that I put up over here. And uh, you can switch between them. Just click whatever, you know. And um, to reset view, you can do that. And one thing that I personally like is um, being able to rotate the lights. I mean, like, not many, like, viewers can just do that on a fly, on the fly. It gives a nice um, perspective as to how the specular maps are working, normal maps, everything. So, um, you might be asking, like, what the application of this would be if, like, oh, I'm just going to release, like, a blend file or just give somebody a file. Well, first of all, this can be integrated into the web. So you can just post it up there, and anybody can, with the Unity plugin, can just go in and uh, fly around and look around at your mesh um, without having access to the source files. Um, this is also ideal for things like if you're marketing a product or a game asset and you want to have something that can just be there and you can just look at it without having access to the files. Um, so. There's a few things you might need to know in order to use this for your own stuff. Um, first, um, all of this is linked up with the prefab, so you can actually just package this view rig and just plop it down wherever. And you can modify all of this. Um, if you want to remove any of the um, UI, like uh, text or whatever, you can just jump into the GUI script. Um, and just, you know, remove certain parts of it that you don't want, or you can add more, whatever you need. I didn't have, I didn't take the liberty of setting up a um, automatic system wherein it, whenever you add, you can just have like a list. So you're going to have to, if you want more models, you're going to have to type in manually model 5 string, and then have like a uh, another button just copy paste make sure it's moved down f additional 40 on that um, increment and then um, rename it to model 5 that part and then up this one and make sure that whenever you build the uh, scenes are in order that's essential. Um, and then once you have that, uh, you can just save it out, and you'll have a button there. It doesn't have any text. Let me. All right, model five. So you can just click on this, but you'll see there's no level four yet. So you're gonna need to create another scene. Um, Save scene as scenes five, 
and keep in mind that the editor it builds 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 so it's going to be one less than the number that you have unless you I, I suppose you could name these 0 whatever I guess I, <laughs> I probably should have done that but anyways um, so that's all you have to do and then you can just click on it and right there oh and um, to apply this is linked to a prefab so you can um, once you have this named to like like that you can just hit apply and it'll apply it across all the um, scenes so you can have it in there and whatever um, UI you want and you can adjust this you can have like a better background or like an icon instead of a button or something this is just something that takes less time to script um, but um, another thing to note is that I'm using deferred lighting I think uh, let's not do that player yeah deferred lighting which is I think only in UD Pro um, but it should look fine with uh, vertex lit or let me configure this ah here we go with vertex lit forward whatever this is a little bit different um, and let's see what else is there you can of course if you want if you don't want any sound you can say um, is it over here? Yeah, sound enabled. You can just click that on and off. And if you don't want any UI, you see that? Or you can use the hotkeys, but those aren't permanent. Um, make sure to apply afterwards to apply it across. Oh, and um, in order to... Um, huh. Center. I wonder why that is. Oh, wrong one. All right, there. So, um, you're gonna want to configure this script also under the Vueig main, and don't apply this across because this is individual to each model. Um, you're going to want to find the um, Ymin Max X Max X Men for the uh, model for panning. So, whenever you have a model and you're going up, you don't want it to go past a certain point. Um, unless you can enable that or disable it if you don't want a limit and that way people can just you know go off into the distance and yeah but um let's see you can also configure pan speed have it whatever speed you want it to be really fast um And, uh, I don't know, that's it. Some These models are included with the uh, release just for, I don't know, demonstration purposes. They aren't really usable because they're <laughs> heavily decimated sculpted meshes, so they aren't animatable or they don't have any bones in them. Sorry. <laughs> but uh, these were just some quick sculpts that I had lying around. And, um, you know, it's... Uh, a little bit, um, you know, easier to just decimate down than have to build an entire low poly animatable mesh on top. What is that doing? Um, and uh, I think that's it. Um, oh yeah, I want to demonstrate. I don't want the mod box open. Why do you do that? Shut up. All right. Um. Here's a little demonstration of the uh, web player. I'll probably upload this to like my website or something just so that you guys can play around with it online. Um, that's just what it looks like on the web. Pretty much the same. And if you want to do standalone for Mac or Windows, you can do that too. Um, so, hope you enjoy this little uh, viewer thing. I mean, it's handy. I mean, it took me about maybe eight hours to construct so it, it cuts down a little bit of time when it comes to um, you guys having to build something just to view a mesh and uh, so feel free to you know 
modify it, distribute it, whatever you want to do. I think I'll probably license it under Creative Commons. Um, but um, there you go. Thanks for watching.